The Asphalt Jungle, home to a wide variety of species of real estate agents. But the most endangered of all is the creature known as the Realatorosaur. We shall explore his dwindling habitat and learn more about his increasing chances of extinction as evolution inevitably takes its course and the adapt or die concept comes home to roost. And so I set out on my safari in search of the Realatorosaur. As I traverse along his well-established migration routes, I hope to catch him at one of his favorite haunts. But the bus benches, once teeming with activity from large herds of Realatorosaurs, are now, alas, becoming barren as other more tech-savvy and efficient means of connecting with consumers takes over. So I move on to other familiar watering holes, like the mailbox and the payphone. But sadly, there too, there are no Realatorosaurs to be found. And so, I resume my search, more determined than ever, to find a Realatorosaur to try to encourage him to learn and adapt to his new surroundings before it's too late. So I decide to take the bold step of attempting to find him where he spends his time hibernating, and I go to the office. I carefully and quietly tread lightly so as not to attract attention or startle him unnecessarily. First, I check the obvious place where he could be. This is his feeding ground, where he's known to gather with others of his herd, because there's safety in numbers here. It is here where they hope to fend off the advancing menace of technology, perhaps with a little help from a sugar fix. I begin to investigate his cubicle, and I notice that he's been reading the real estate ads in the paper. And look, what's this? This is another relic of years gone by, where the listings used to be before they were on the computer. Back in his heyday, the Relatorosaur controlled access to all the properties for sale because only he and his herd had access to the listings. If you wanted to buy a house, you needed to talk to them. It seems our Relatorosaur relies heavily on the old school methods of real estate marketing, including postcards and mailers. And because our Relatorosaur does not have a GPS or a mapping application for his smartphone, he relies on his dog-eared, well-worn, old-fashioned map to help navigate his way through the urban forest. Our Relatorosaur is quite proud of the fact that he doesn't own a computer and that he instead uses his Smith Corona typewriter. Let me see if I can figure out how to use it. As our day comes to an end in the urban forest, so too ends an era where Relatorosaurs once roamed the plains and jungles in great numbers. Now, like the other dinosaurs who once ruled the earth, the Relatorosaur is fast approaching extinction. He does not understand the consumer's new world, the world of Twitter, Facebook, WordPress, YouTube, Zillow, and Active Rain. Storm clouds are gathering because consumers want transparency, access, technology, and relevancy in this brave new world of real estate. The Relatorosaur must adapt or die.